Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go down those stairs that we ended off the last part at. We're gonna come across another room that's seemingly ceiling based. Uh oh, because I targeted it. Boop. <laughs> come on, re reappear, you sucker. Reappear, you sucker. <laughs> there you go. Maybe I should just go like in first person mode the whole time. Yeah, that'll, that'll do. And I can't get that because it's, it's gonna fall into nothingness, but... Uh, it, it actually cracked? It actually made a sound effect to crack? Does that mean that there's actually something solid down here? Let me see here. Oh, my RCS! <laughs> the death... the death spawn point or whatever you want to call it, like when you... when you touch it, it's actually solid. That's interesting. Um... Let's see what we need in here. I think we need that. For one thing, um, mm, just want to take a look, see around here before I switch more items out. Actually, uh, there's a couple more poles hanging out in this room too, as you can see, but not super important. <laughs> it's just a matter of clearing the way for the most part and using your hook shot, I think, to get around, if I recall correctly. And there he goes, a little cubby hole of sorts. Like, like it's kind of. Let's see the way this is. You, what is what is this? Like, isn't there supposed to be a gate here? I I could have swore, or is this just like not letting me go through? Because I, I don't know, but it is blocked off as there's no white square next to it. <laughs> that's uh, that's interesting. Oh shoot, I didn't really realize this, but I think I got myself a little stuck here. Well, other than, you know, being able to... Oh, yeah! I pulled it off. <laughs> I was gonna say, other than being able to uh, possibly jump back over to the railing, or support beams. There's that one. Can I, like, activate this one ahead of time, too? Like, can I... No, I can't. Poopers. Okay, we're moving on. <laughs> uh, we're coming up to the bomb tree room soon. That's gonna be something. Uh, let's get rid of this. <laughs> ha. Oh, poopers. You and your disappearing when I target you. <laughs> uh, oops. Whoop, 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 whoop. And die! I said die! I said... <laughs> I don't know how I was missing there. I was at point blank. Alright. Yeah, it looks like another day is coming to an end in the world of Zelda. But, I just want to see here, I don't think that is, yeah, I gotta do stuff in other rooms to actually get through that, so let's go through this room. At least I think I have to, because yeah, I think there's another pathway around, yes, this right here, I think. Oh, no, no, wait, actually, this is not, this is something else, Death Armos, a Temple Gar, look at that red mark on his chest, I know you've seen something like that before. Have I now? Have I? Have I? Oh, I thought I could- oh, maybe I- Oh, it's the, uh, light arrow mark, actually. I didn't really notice, but it's that little spider mark. There's one on the chest and one on the back. Yeah, so I have seen that mark before. <laughs> I have seen that mark before. So you can basically flip it around like that. But, what's the point of flipping it around like that, where you can just kind of- Yeah. Yeah, let's, let's make something for the future. Let's just put it that way. And, oh! So now, okay, there, there is actually a point to flipping it around. What you're supposed to do here is... is do that. And then... make it bash its head on the ground, I do believe. Oh no, wait, what? Uh, I thought, thought you had the... Hmm... How did I kill this thing before? Hmm. 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 <laughs> I get myself creamed here because I forgot how to defeat it. Yeah, I thought you... Or maybe I'm thinking of my first playthrough and I thought you had to make it bash its head into the ground. Um... So yeah, I thought that there was... Or maybe... There's a bomb giblet on top of that. Um, hmm. Hold on. <laughs> I just want to get this up close now, because there might actually be a, uh... Uh-oh. 
I just want to figure this guy out before I uh, uh, have ire here for the future when I encounter another one later on. Uh, oh, that dang shockwave. <laughs> oh! Hmm. Okay, there we go. Oh, there, I was right about it. You do have to make him bash his head into the ground. The thing about it is that you gotta do that while he's flipping and gonna slam into the ground, so... Yeah, it's a, it's a timing thing, and I completely forgot the timing, but I did remember how to defeat it to an extent. I'm I'm proud of myself. Okay, so now what I was saying about the uh, other room that was attached to here. If you take a look, see, yeah, this is where that... Oh, maybe it wasn't where that armos was. Oops, I wasn't really paying attention there. Can I, like... Oh, I can. Okay. Um, I guess I'll come through here, then. <laughs> hey, you. Hey, you, I gotta bait you. Oh, shoot. I, I, I know your trick now. Oh, I was too close. <laughs> uh, there we go. Victory is mine. Yeah. Oh, oh come on now. Don't be like that. <laughs> so yeah, I'd like to explore this one just because it's, it was attached to the other room first. I think, that's, there, think there's more in here, actually. Oh, there's a... It's <laughs> a pole that popped in here. Um, oh, here's the other one. Ah! Oh, you didn't you didn't slam your face into the ground. I thought you were I thought you were doing your shaky shake. You're, you didn't do your shaky dance. I know I'm running low on arrows, but <laughs> come on, slam your head, slam your head. You can do it. Ah, you can do it, do it, do it. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> of all bait and switch type dib giblets. Okay, what does this do? Okay, it allows me to get up there in some fashion. First, the uh, Elegy of Emptiness, of course. There we go. Okay. Um, let's see here. I want to get this back out. Uh, oops. That back out, obviously, along with that. Because I still need the powers of the light arrow. Although I'm kind of getting myself low on light arrows. Oh, wait, maybe I don't need them to... Oh, look at that! You just kind of walk up the side there. That works, too. Delightful. I got a small key. So, yeah, this, wa this wasn't the room that I thought was attached to the other one. Oh, shoot. I didn't even have the right thing out. Okay, let's try it again. Ah! Oh, you gotta sort of listen for that. Okay, slam down. Ah, that works. Whatever. <laughs> I'm not too concerned about damage, obviously, considering I've got 16 hearts plus double health, so... Yeah, you can, you can see why I'm not so concerned about it. I'm just kind of more concerned about time than anything because of the... Uh, time system of the game and wait. I just took a wrong turn back into the spot that I was into before uh, So yeah, this was the bomb chew room before you know with the multiple switches that I had to use the crates to get across Yeah, this is the other version of it the flipped around version of it, but eh, I, I would say it's less tedious to do in the original version because the the statue sometimes just don't seem to be all that cooperative, but either way, they're both pretty decently designed. Um, oh shoot, I actually need to get this set up over here. I want to knock these into themselves so I can clear the way. There we go, look at that. And now, before I do anything, remember I was through that door already to hit that switch. Um, oh yeah, we got a Igor hanging out up there. That's for a, uh, different route. Okay. So we can now go safely over here. And... Ah! I mistimed it. <laughs> um... Let's just see here. I don't want to get in the way... I mean, I don't want that to be in my way of my trek around the bend, but... It might be forced to be that way. Uh, okay, that's good. <laughs> Not that big of a deal, I guess. If Even if I would've got blasted, I would've just restarted the room and it's not that much to restart or anything like that. It's just that I didn't have another mine to knock that mine into. 
And yeah, that that's the room that I got the rupees from getting the uh, Dexy hand or being grabbed by the Dexy hand. And there's the sun below us. <laughs> okay, let's move on. That other treasure chest is for another mask later on. Uh, you'll see when we get up there. Hey, how's it going there? Hey, how's it going there? <laughs> just shield them. I mean, just do a shield. little drop its fire. Then the blue bubbles will yeah, be completely vulnerable to a simple sword swipe. Um, just see what's in here. Resupplies. That means I think a boss is coming. Oh, yeah, this is the other boss I forgot how to beat. <laughs> this will be fun, because I forgot how to beat it. Oh uh, boy! Oh no! It's pretty sinister looking, actually. It's got a pretty nasty scythe. It is Gomez. There'll be no end to it if you can't get those bats away from it. Does that shed any light on the situation? Why, yes. Yes, it does. <laughs> actually, I, I now I remember how to do it. <laughs> and then I think you're supposed to... Oh, I thought you had to... Attack it after you knock the bats away. Hold on here. Hold on. Don't don't worry. It's not 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 worried about health or anything like that. I just try and shoot him twice here. Oh, okay. That's how you do it. You shoot him twice. Oh, you shoot him twice. That is good enough for me. I've got my plan and I'm gonna stick to it. I don't care about your scythe. I got the idea of it now. Ow. <laughs> Uh, I guess I killed a bat, which got me some magic. That is a way to uh, get yourself some magic if you're low on that, I suppose. But you won't ha you won't be low if you got a Chateau Romani on your side. <laughs> All right, one more, I think. Oh no! Oh 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 oh! Oh, the bat's gonna be back by the time I can shoot out. Oh oh! He made himself vulnerable. I win. All that talk about me forgetting how to defeat the boss, and I remembered it thanks to Tattle. Come to think of it, the uh, Garo Master, I also uh, would have gotten the proper hint from... Uh, by the way, it looks pretty cool. <laughs> the Garo Master, I got a proper hint from uh, Tattle as well. She said to dodge his attacks. She didn't say to shield yourself from the attack, she said to dodge yourself from them. And that makes sense, considering that you have... You have to kind of make him vulnerable by not bouncing him back. And open says me. And of course, in this sort of treasure chest skin of sorts, it is Le Boss Key. Yeah! Okay, let's move on. <laughs> you know what the boss key is like. Uh, but there is other stuff to explore here, like uh, how many fairies? I got 12 out of 15 fairies. I believe I've got to flip the uh, world back around somewhere around in time. Uh, but there's, there's still more rooms to look through here, so don't don't get too excited here. We're not, we're not done yet. <laughs> it's, it's the longest and hardest dungeon in the game, but it, it's still pretty easy. <laughs> Especially when you get heart drops like this, and you can reset rooms just by jumping in the fire or something like that. Okay, so now from here, I think I want to go... Oh wait, actually, how does that work? Um, Three chests, or oh, four chests, that's right. I think those other three chests contain the fairies, and then the last one contains uh, the mask that I was talking about, I think. Um, you know what would be faster? <laughs> yeah, I think th think this would be faster to get over to the entrance. Uh, uh, just a little bit faster. <laughs> and then I can use that middle route to get back into that route where that mini-boss type giblet was. But first, I'm gonna take this off, and then I'm gonna go and... Do this. See, there's that treasure chest that I made up here from the switch way, 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 way back. Oh, that's not the one! Whoops! Oh, whatever. <laughs> I, want, I gotta hit the higher up chest that's on the actual ceiling, ceiling up there. And there we go. I just wanna do the rest of this dungeon, I guess you could say, in this form before I flip it back around to finish off the collection of stuff. 
And there we go. And here we have our bossy friend. I just want to see here. How do you get magic from this guy? I completely forgot how you get magic from the Igor. I don't care about your lasers. I just block them with my shield. <laughs> hmm. Maybe you don't get magic from this guy. Maybe if you run out of magic, you're just kind of screwed. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Hmm. I just want to see here if, if there's any way to get magic from this if you don't have Chateau Romani. Hmm. Let's try this. Uh, that, that made him move back, I guess. Or maybe he's just going back on his own. Who knows? Who knows? Uh-oh. <laughs> All I know is it's easier to shoot his eye when he's stunned like that. Oh! He didn't have his eye in. Oh, it is vulnerable. Okay, good. I was gonna say it wasn't in a vulnerable spot because his head was back, but it's okay. And there we go. Now, this will give me a chest containing a rather good mask for the boss, and it only works in the boss room. Like, it like literally only works as a single-use item, just like most of the other masks. But it's a pretty cool item. It is the giant's mask. Yeah, within this mask lies the might of a giant. But can you use its power anywhere? Sure you can. But it's not going to be in this room, it's going to be in the boss room. <laughs> uh, let's go through here now, because I think there's other... Oh, there's other stuff that I can do before I flip the dungeon back over. Just want to hit this. Because, yeah, this is going to make a chest appear on the ceiling. Yep. I didn't forget that. And I think everything is set up for a dungeon flipping. So that means... <laughs> we're going to soar back to the entrance again. <laughs> but this time, we're going out. Oh, yes, we're actually going out. We're flipping this dungeon back over. And we are, oops, we are going to owl save. Because we've come a long way, and I don't want to lose out what I've got remaining left to do. So let's just get this set up here, and uh, we'll appear back on the other side with the blocks in their unfinished position, of course. So again, you got to do the block puzzle. But with that, I'm going to end off the part here, and I'll see you in the next part when I redo the block puzzle, get those remaining chests, and defeat the boss. It will be... Awesome, hopefully. Hopefully. Please no freezes. <laughs>